Hello there, Brick Fanatics. The new Milky Way LEGO art set is just that, a piece of art, in that it is somewhat subjective. And some people looking at it might be absolutely on board with it, and other people looking at it might think to themselves, that's not quite doing it for me. And in having a discussion around this set, we have an opportunity to explore somewhat of the entirety of the LEGO art theme. Because just like a piece of art hanging in a gallery, it is entirely appropriate to disseminate and discuss a piece of LEGO art, and to question what the message behind the piece is, and how well it actually conveys that message. That being the case, we would absolutely love to know your thoughts on the new LEGO Milky Way art piece. Uh, let us know in the comments down below. Also, make sure that you stick around to the end of the video and see whether or not I have changed your mind, and if so, then add that comment as well. That being the case, let's have a talk about art. Not just about Milky Way, but about all of the LEGO art theme, and indeed many different attempts with LEGO in trying to convey and translate things that may not necessarily always suit the brick. I've been thinking a lot lately about LEGO sets that attempt to take something from the real world and then portray them in LEGO form, and how actually some things are better suited to that translation than others. We see this with the LEGO art theme. My absolute favourite piece, not just from this theme, but possibly from all of LEGO ever, is Hokusai's The Great Wave, sat behind me there. It looks absolutely stunning, and it's a wonderful translation that not only uses the source material very well, but also gives it a unique LEGO twist, with kind of 3D elements jutting out from the picture frame, with the use of the kind of screen tone comic book-esque dots in the background to kind of give the illusion of depth and to separate the two different layers. It's a wonderful use of an iconic piece of famous art in Lego form, which actually makes use of the brick in an excellent way for conveying the, the meaning and the message behind the Great Wave. Other more recent Lego art sets have not necessarily managed this quite as well, and you can definitely get a sense that the Lego designers are attempting to experiment and to figure out how much further they can push things using this model as a kind of a base level of, let's see what other 3D elements we can add to this. End to then Milky Way, which has this kind of faux 3D effect, well it's not even a faux 3D effect, this actual 3D effect with different parts of the canvas jutting out further than others in order to try and introduce the sense of depth to the Milky Way. The problem is that I feel the Milky Way doesn't necessarily lend itself very well to the brick, because when you're zoomed out at this scale and you're seeing the entirety of the galaxy, billions of stars and countless planets on top of that, all shimmering and shining in this milky swirl, then trying to do it with a little tiny brick even though it's a small brick, it's still a bit too big to convey just how much information you're looking at when you look at a picture of the Milky Way. The problem, ultimately, is one of resolution. Uh, it's almost like taking a, a photo of anything and then having it kind of condensed and crunched down to its most pixelated form. It stops looking like the thing that it started out as, because you lose so much of the detail. And in the Milky Way, all of the detail is tiny. It's all about looking at all of these little tiny lights together that add up to a sense of awe and wonder at the, just the scale of this thing. And that can't come across in Lego form because of the pixelated nature of this kind of, this medium of artistic expression. Like, in order to get a sense of each individual twinkly star, you would have to have such an enormous picture of the Milky Way that would be impractical for a Lego set or for basically anything else. It's a similar problem to that of the world map, which is admittedly a much larger LEGO set. Uh, but even so, even with a relatively simple scale conversion compared to a galactic scale, just looking at things on a global scale, using individual studs or dots in order to represent huge land masses has its problems, because you can't get in all of the tiny little isles of the sea, you can't get in the contours and the shapes of a coastline accurately, and no matter what you do, somebody is going to be disappointed because they live on that little dot and you didn't include it on your map. 
that issue is not quite the same with the Milky Way because we're all definitely represented there. You can see the spot. They put a little you are here brick on it to tell you. Um, but I feel like the you are here brick is doing a lot of heavy lifting here because not only is it a cute little visual gag, um, but also it's the way that you can tell you're looking at the Milky Way and not just a random swirly splodge. Leaving aside the issue of representation entirely, aesthetically, the Milky Way is absolutely delightful. What a wonderful colour scheme with different hues showing different parts of the Milky Way, white being used for the brightest, densest stars, and then purple showing the kind of the inky blackness of space in a way that just, it's delightful. It just pops with colour. And it doesn't look entirely dissimilar from the branding that the LEGO group has been using for all of their space sets in 2024. That kind of meta attention to detail isn't necessary, but there's a reason why this colour scheme has been chosen. It is very pretty. It's also wonderful to look at this set really close and see all of the tiny little details that have been achieved with different types of bricks. How this kind of greebling effect has given a texture to the Milky Way that you wouldn't necessarily get from just a, a kind of a blank canvas, like a flat canvas like the world map. Certainly, you can definitely see lessons from various different LEGO sets shining through here. There's a bit of the rolling stones in here with the way that that greebling is used to kind of denote different parts of that texture and different shaping and contouring. It's also very reminiscent of a build that is hanging on the wall at the LEGO headquarters, which shows the world map in its entirety, all in different colours. And if you look at it from a distance, you think, oh, that's the world map. And then you get up close and you see that it's got all of these details and all of these little little elements that are used in order to make it just a little bit more fun and stand out a little bit more, have a little bit of, uh, of uh, extra whimsy to it. And that kind of idea translated into a commercially available LEGO set is wonderful, it's brilliant, it's got so much charm and character to it. The issue ultimately, for me at least, really just comes down to the fact that it doesn't look a huge amount like the Milky Way, and it probably couldn't in Lego form. I mean, what could be done? If you look at another set that probably faced a similar challenge uh, during the design process, Van Gogh's Starry Night, you see how the Lego group took a different approach here, inspired by the fan creator who came up with the initial project. In that case, there are only a few stars on display and they are significantly larger, but the piece is attempting to capture Van Gogh's brush strokes, and they are not necessarily easy to translate into Lego. In some cases, there are swirls that are made with bricks, and they're fairly effective, turning the brick on the side to achieve that. But for the real detail of the larger stars, we get printed pieces. And that, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a copper, but also I don't know how else they would have achieved that, because it's hard to get that sense of those brush strokes in Lego form, just as it's hard to get a sense of all of the billions of stars in the galaxy in Lego form. I definitely do get a sense that the Lego art team are really brushing up hard against the limitations of the Lego brick. They're trying their luck here to a certain degree. They're, they're really trying to push the envelope and really push the boundaries and see how much they can get away with. And that kind of experimentation is not necessarily always working for them, but I absolutely commend it because that is the whole point of art, to experiment, to try something new, to see what works, to not necessarily get things right every time, but then to be able to build on that to form a better expression and to communicate some kind of message. Indeed, I would say the moment that the Lego group stops experimenting with the brick is the moment that they stop making art entirely and start making Lego content. And as somebody who makes Lego content uh, professionally, I've got to say, you do end up feeling like the critic at the end of Ratatouille sometimes. When you look at the Lego sets and then you're, you're critiquing them and you think to yourself, my critique is in no way better than this Lego set, no matter what the Lego set might be. It's just, there's something here because the Lego of designers are so willing to experiment, that means that we get these cool new things that wouldn't at all be possible if they just stuck to the rote formula and just did the same kind of thing over and over again. I would happily hang it on my wall myself, I have to say. Um, but at the same time, I can see where it has its limitations. And this is going to be the case for any LEGO set. There is no perfect LEGO set. There is no perfect piece of art. And it is in having these kinds of discussions that we're able to then uh, evolve things and grow things and kind of develop the artistic expression a little bit further. If we're thinking of LEGO as being a canvas, as being something that is used as a medium to communicate something, I think that the Milky Way's 
primary theme, its goal here, is to show us the wonders of creation and to show us compared to the wonders of creation. Hence that little you are here joke. I mean, I, I take it as a joke. You might not think it's funny. It reminds me a bit of Douglas Adams and The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and a passage in the book uh, and indeed in the radio play that it was based on uh, where a character is put into the total perspective vortex and sees all of known creation relative to the tiny, tiny, minuscule dot that is them. Uh, but that only really works if you've got the level of detail necessary to show the tiny, tiny dot that is a person. And that being the case, I feel like the Lego Milky Way set does not have the total perspective that one would love to see from something that is conveying the, the sense of grandeur that you get from looking at the Milky Way and from all of these wonderful telescopic pictures that we get from NASA and from other space bodies around the world. That said, these things are entirely subjective and this is just my opinion. And if you have a different opinion, you are absolutely valid in that. As said, please do leave a comment down below and let us know your thoughts on the set. If you've already left a comment, make sure that you go down and just edit it and say whether or not you agree with everything that I've said in this video. If you are planning on purchasing this set, it is available from the 15th of May for LEGO Insiders and the 18th of May for everybody else. Make sure that if you are going to buy it, you use our affiliate link or the QR code, which is currently on screen when you make that purchase. Going through our link just gives us a little bit of a kickback when you make that purchase. It just helps to keep the lights on here, helps us to continue to be able to make content. Make sure that you also do all of the regular YouTube things, give this video a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you are looking for more LEGO content, head to brickfanatics.com where we have LEGO news, reviews and much, much more. And make sure that you sign up to our newsletter so that you never miss anything LEGO related ever again. Thank you very much for watching.